are your local election headquarters and controversy over mail-in ballots. Senate Bill 1 seems to be still causing some confusion across West Texas. ABC Big 2's Rachel Howell joins us now live in Midland. And Rachel, the Midland County Elections Office says it's already recalled several mail-in ballots. That is correct. After the passing of Senate Bill 1, the process of mail-in ballots seems to have some confusion all across the board. And with more elections in the coming months, there are many ways that you can avoid your ballot from being rejected, though. Carolyn Graves with the Midland County Elections Office wants voters to be aware of what needs to be done correctly before sending in their mail-in ballots. A huge issue is proper identification. She says the county is working to send an insert with ballots to remind voters of the necessary steps for mail-in ballots pending approval from the Secretary of State. Graves also wants to make sure voters know to put the last four digits of their social or their driver's license number on their ballots and this all matches with what the election Elections office has on file. They've already gotten their ballots, so now the carrier envelope, and that's the one with the purple flap, underneath that, that's where you're going to need to put your social, the last four of your social or your driver's license, and it needs to be whatever we have on file. And to be safe, you can put both. But if you're not sure you can call and we can tell you that yes we have your social or yes we have your deal. Graves also says that about 16 percent of current mail-in ballots have already been rejected uh, because of improper identification. She also says that the county elections is hoping that the confusion can be cleared up by the November elections. Reporting live in Midland, Rachel Hallam, ABC Big 2 News. All right, thanks for clearing that up, Rachel. Many are now looking ahead to the next election, which is coming up just around the corner in May. People have until next week to register to vote.